Hi everyone, today I'm excited to walk through how we implemented the PlayFab email, password login, and the guest login in our game, Clockmasters. Uh, and this game is working currently on the uh, Google Play Store. Uh, it's working on the Microsoft Store. And soon to be, we'll have it <coughs> published on our website for the Windows download here on uh, BaconKingStudios.com. It's in the game. So to start this off, I'm going on to uh, bring up the game that we have here and then kind of just do a quick overview. So as you can see, we just have a basic login, which takes the email password. Uh, user can reset their password if they, if they forget it. And they can also sign up for a new account using an email, username, and password here. <clears throat> and then Finally, they can use the guest login, which basically just takes the device ID to uh, authenticate. Just note that there's chapters in the video to jump around to specific parts, if that's helpful. And I uh, just want to bring up one YouTube channel that I kind of used as a reference uh, when we were building this kind of authentication for our company, uh, Bacon King Studios. So yeah, I'll leave the link in the description, but uh, the, this, uh, four-part series kind of gave me a good idea, and uh, that's how we were able to kind of get this started. What we're going to jump into first, just a quick overview. Uh, PlayFab authentication is set up, and the, you can see how the different pieces kind of work together here. Start from the top, and so with the auth scene, we have that right here, authentication scene in the Unity editor. This is the base scene, so if we go to like the build settings, uh, this will be like the first scene that comes through. So it's kind of like where we control the authentication. See like down below on the canvas, we have like the sign up, UI, login, forgot password, uh, and then we have the button holder. So with the button holder, that's the three buttons we saw. Uh, login UI, just kind of those fields there. The login UI, which yeah, has the email password, and then the different validations that are included in the... And then for sign up, we have the email, username, password. And then again, this has the same kind of validations that PlayFab needs for their specific APIs that we use. For the forgot password, how that is accessed from this forgot password link here. But then when you click that you'll get this forgot password kind of section here. So yeah, that's the basics of the scene itself for the authentication scene. And then the, the last piece we have is just the user account manager. So yeah, we went over the auth scene and then jumped down to login sign of guest. And that uh, <clears throat> all talks to the user account manager script and we'll, we'll hit that next. But then uh, depending on what, what's happening and stuff, that'll redirect you to the main menu scene here or any other uh, associated scenes. We have like a safeguard in place as well, which we'll go over after the user account manager uh, one here. So yeah, so the user account manager will come in here, which is a singleton that we instantiate on the authentication scene just to make sure the users authenticate it. And this is kind of a wrapper around the PlayFab API. So yeah, that was the user account manager. The last piece, just the, in any other scene here. Uh, basically, I think I just put this on like the different scene singletons or managers uh, that we have. So like right here, let's say the high score scene. If you try to access like the high score screen, we're going to run this uh, check right here. And it's just a base checking if the user account manager is instantiated. And then if it is, we just check if the user is logged in, which is... Uh, if you control click, that's just a yeah a simple wrapper on the PlayFab API there. So if this is something you're interested in kind of building out, I think it'll give you a good base to kind of work off of this and uh, explore the other features of the PlayFab API. Yeah, there's going to be chapters in the video, and leave a comment if you have any questions. So what we're going to do is walk through the diagram and build those pieces out while looking at the Unity code and the Visual Studio code and just see how that meshes together. Hopefully that'll give you a good good idea. So with the auth scene here, we went through the basics earlier, and uh, with the PlayFab side of things, the main thing is kind of be the the UI build out of the different features, 
and then the user account manager, which we instantiate in the auth scene, and that basically acts as a wrapper around the PlayPad APIs. With the UI, we have the login button and a sign up button. Script up top to kind of control all the main menus. The login UI, which has its, again, own fields up here and the different action buttons you can call. The other thing associated with these I didn't mention previously is just the different validations we have and the, the validation text that trigger if for the sign up UI. Yeah, here. Yeah, so that, that's like the UI piece right there, here. And that, that script is also like a game object that we have in the auth scene here. Uh, so if we close this canvas and we go to the user account manager, we'll see the script attached uh, in the authentication scene. And so with the user account manager, it's a singleton, uh, and we don't destroy it on load. Uh, and this kind of has a, a lot of the event handlers uh, to manage the different authentication states and kind of the returning values of that. It uses the PlayFab APS to kind of trigger those event handlers that we use. It contains the auth state as well. So we pull that from the PlayFab API and just use it in here, just so in case we ever want to switch, hopefully it won't be as hard. So yeah, so the different event handlers we have is the user logout, create account failed, on login success, on login failed, and then for the on awake, we check if it's uh, null, and then if it's not, we instantiate it there. The next pieces are just the sign up and the login UI. They both communicate with the user care manager, and those are the uh, mainly the submit buttons that do that. When we're on the sign up UI and the login UI, you can go here. Uh, within this, you can see this is the attempt sign up button. So right now we're in the sign up UI. And then, yeah, so with the attempt sign up button, we have an on click listener, which goes to this attempt sign up. This is attempt sign up procedure. And then, yeah, it checks first validate full sign up. If the sign up information they have is validated, we set the close and the attempt sign up to not interactable and we attempt create account with the associated input fields that we currently have as uh, serialized fields up here. here. And then for the user account manager create account, if we jump over there, that's a, a pretty basic procedure where we just take in the email address, username, password, and send that directly to the create account request. And then we just plug that into playfab API register playfab user. And then the different event handlers I was mentioning is, as you can see here, we trigger those as needed. And then for the sign up specifically, uh, we sign up with the create account request. And then directly after on that result, if it's successful, we automatically log the user in just so they don't have to kind of log in after creating a new account. And then for the login UI, it's basically the same thing as a sign up where we have this attempt login button. And then on the listener, we have the process login request. And again, same kind of validation check. And then instead of the create account, we're just doing the attempt. You kind of run this in there. So we went over kind of the login button where it talks to the user account manager. And in response, like specific event handlers, which talks to the, the UI there. And then depending on the response of that, we're going to build out a few other scenes to see where where we go after. If you sign up, I guess this should technically be here, where if you sign up, it authenticates and then it like re-authenticates. Uh, yeah, so all within that user account manager. So uh, where we just have an, another script to check if user account manager singleton is instantiated. Within here, we also like interact with the user data, uh, the title data and the leaderboard data within PlayFab. We do this just because, and then yeah, any other scene, like I mentioned before, the main menu scene, game scene, high score scene, specifically in ours, but yeah, that can probably be expanded as needed. To bring it back down to the off scene, the user logs in or signs up, we go to the user account manager uh, we get that response sent to the UI, and then if that's successful, on success. So we have this lo um, login success here. So if we follow that event handler, and we, we can right-click, go to final references, we have this uh, function on the login uh, UI. So what this is doing is it's uh, yeah, subscribing to this on login success here. And then, as you can see, if the user is logged in after that callback, load the main menu scene that's this little uh, arrow and then with the guest button it talks to the user account manager and then that follows this red line back to uh, redirecting to the other scene 
given it is successful. And then for the code side for this, let's go into the canvas and we can jump right into that button holder here and actually kind of see how that's working. We go to the button guest, log in, sign up, we can go to edit scripts. And so up here we have the guest button. So we're going to click on that. We have an event listener on this uh, guest button which basically just, again, communicates with the user account manager and the sign-in device, where it gets you the device ID here. And then within this, you call a specific PlayFab uh, authentication, depending on which ID you have. All of my authentication right now is just running through this login with custom ID, if you're going through a guest. We, we had some issues in Android, so we cut that out. We weren't using iOS, we just cleaned that out. And then for the... Microsoft Store issue, the unique identifier length was over 100 sometimes and it threw an error like in the uh, like in the runtime. So we made this little workaround. So if the ID is under 100 already, we just use that directly. But otherwise, we have this helper uh, function to cut down that string to 64 bit or 64 uh, characters. And this has been working uh, without any, at least, issues that we have caught. So, uh, yeah, the recommended approach is to use the GUI ID. Uh, but I kind of just went with the other approach, just since Clockmasters doesn't really rely heavily on the guest login. It's mainly just so your high score can be saved if, if you want it to be with, like, a, a, a username associated. All right, so we're almost there. If you already have an account and you forgot your password, uh, we set up a forgot email password option. So the forgot password here is the UI scripts. And so yeah, it's just the email address and we send that through. Forgot password UI uh, script also communicates with the user account manager. And then that is returned back to the, to the forgot password. And then that comes back, and depending on if it's a failure or not, it uh, sends back like the associate error message from that request, or it just sends you back to the login. I have this forgot password. We have this OK button, which is used for the processing of the email request. And so if we click into there, uh, we do a validate text change. And if it's valid, go back to the user account manager and do this attempt forgot password email, which again, just takes in the email, takes in the title ID of the PlayFab, and then it'll send a email to your account, allow you to reset that. And to actually log out of the application, we have this uh, script here. So this just gets called by when you're actually in a different scene and you want to log out. Uh, it's just a basic forgot all credentials call, and then we invoke a, an associated handler just to make sure that you're redirected back to the authentication scene. Hopefully that gave you an idea of how you can do that on your own game.